Jamil Kelly. First things first, what do you think of the setup here at the C3 at Calvary Chapel in California? I think it's awesome. You know, you got, um, I think, seven or eight Division One coaches, Division Two coaches that are here getting to see these kids come out, teach them techniques, see them go drill, see them wrestle, see them do some of the skill stuff. Um, it's pretty neat just to see them kind of outside of what, you know, we normally do in just a competition setting. So, you know, it's a pretty, pretty cool and unique idea. You guys, um, when you come to this and you hear about this event, it sounds like you saw a little bit of the coverage, you know, bits and pieces from years past and this, you know, last couple weeks in Georgia. But what are you expecting when you come to this event? What are you looking for at this event? Me, honestly, just just trying to see, like, as as you're teaching, more so not so when I'm teaching, when I'm watching as others are teaching and they're going out and drilling, how easy, you know, maybe they pick up the technique, how, how they drill, if they know how to drill, if they, you know, they work hard when they're drilling. Just kind of trying to see those little tendencies and see if you can pick up on the on little things on how you know, they're they be in the room every day. It, has it met the expectation of what you thought it would be and what, you know, like, what this event is? Has it met the, has it, has it met the bill of what, what you thought it would be? Yeah, so, so far it really has. I mean, I, I really, I guess I didn't have too much of a, an expectation, I guess, um, but I think what they've done to, as far as the shirt colors, you know, is these guys are these guys, and the information they give us um, about each of the guys, you know, it, it made it real professional and, and beneficial for, for me to just come and just see how it all how it all works out. You know, you and I were just talking, you don't really need to sell Stanford. I mean, it's the best university on the planet, and everybody wants to go there. The biggest challenge I think you guys have is, is getting guys in. Right. You know, what is that like for you guys as far as the recruiting process when you can't recruit every guy? What is that like for you, and, and where do you put your recruiting energy, I guess I would ask? Uh, honestly, it's just about communication. Communication early with, with kids that are interested in, in coming to a, a, you know, a, an academic school like Stanford. Um, just so we can get on the same page, make sure they're doing the right thing as far as the classes, their grades, seeing where they are, seeing where they are. You know, for us, if a kid's a junior or senior and it's like, oh man, I've always wanted to go to Stanford and you know, maybe didn't take the right classes or do, do things that he could have done differently but just didn't know, you know, those are the things that, that we need to try to build those relationships and, and have some kind of communication as early as possible to try to, to help guide them to, uh, to meet the academic requirements.